what's for dinner. It's Monday night. Traditionally, we do soup and sandwiches on Monday night, or just sandwiches, but tonight we're just doing soup and homemade bread. I made bread the other day, so we have part of a loaf, and I have made some cinnamon and with cinnamon swirl bread um, yesterday as well. But it probably won't go so good with what we're having. I'm gonna make some New England clam chowder, and I'm basically gonna make this from, you could make it from food storage. I'm using fresh veggies tonight, but you can do this entirely from food storage if you rehydrate all of the vegetables that you have in your food storage. We're gonna use carrots, onions, and celery, and we all have those in our food storage. If you rehydrate those and put them in the soup, they'll be fabulous. So you can make this entirely from food storage. And I am using quite a bit of food storage in this recipe tonight. So let's see what goes in this. I've got a big, massive pile of ingredients, but don't let it scare you because it's really very simple. Um, clams. I have drained two 10 ounce cans of fancy whole baby clams. I'm gonna set those over there. And I reserved the liquor from the can. Okay, so we're gonna use that. So there's about a cup there. Plus, I also have two little bottles that are eight ounces a piece, so they're a cup a piece of natural clam juice. We're gonna use, I have four russet potatoes that I peeled and cubed, and they've been sitting here a little while, so they're starting to oxidize, but it'll be all right. Um, two large stalks of celery that I have finely chopped, one medium-sized sweet onion that I have finely chopped, and about a cup of uh, matchstick carrots that I ran my knife through because I like to chop them up a bit. I don't like to put them in there all stringy. Um, I'm also going to be using about a quart of whole milk and a pint of whipping cream. This is that fabulous Gosner milk and cream, and we're going to use that. And if you want to come over here to my pan, my pot rather, I have about two tablespoons of neutral vegetable oil. I've got some safflower oil in here and about a half a stick of butter. We're gonna go ahead and throw our onion in here. And I'm gonna go get some garlic to put in there as well. I'm putting our carrot and our celery. Let me grab my garlic and we'll put a big spoonful of that in there. I have to find my garlic. Is this the Trinity? I can never remember. A uh, traditional New Orleans uh, Trinity is celery, onion, and green pepper. What we have here is a traditional French mirepoix, which is carrot, onions, and celery. And since I cannot locate my prepared garlic, I'm just going to grab gonna a clove of garlic and uh, chop it up real quick, and I'm going to put it in there. And we're going to let that cook. We're going to let this cook until the onion is translucent. And when that happens, I will put the garlic in while I'm gone. So know that I put the garlic in about, I'm going to probably use two cloves of chopped garlic. And uh, when I come back and this is all translucent, we'll move on to the rest of it. This really doesn't take a long time and it's really delicious. Okay, we're back and our onions are just about where I want them. These are going to simmer for a little while. It's about 15 minutes, really, just to make the potatoes cook. But what I've just added in there is about a tea, two teaspoons, really, of Old Bay seasoning. That's completely optional. You can add parsley, marjoram, celery seed, whatever you like. But I think that Old Bay, oh, it just smells so amazing. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my Wondra, and if you wanna measure this out, I don't know, two or three tablespoons, I'd say. What if they can't find Wondra? You can just use regular flour. You don't have to use Wondra. I just like the Wondra because it doesn't clump. Get it in there. Just like that. No more than that, though. Then let's get our, uh, this clam juice that we took out of the can of clams. 
this clam juice that was in the bottle, this other clam juice that was in the bottle, and you gotta stop. See, you, you gotta stop toward the bottom because it's got some sediment in the bottom. And while that may be pleasant to most to some people, I don't think I wanna use that. Give this a good stir. Now, I'm gonna add two cups of water. Put in my clams. No, I'm not. Sorry, I'm gonna put in my potatoes. And I'm gonna turn the heat up just a bit. I am gonna boil these potatoes until they are done. When they are fork tender, not mushy, fork tender. When you can pull one of these out and kind of press it against the side and it smushes without any resistance, not like that because it's still raw, um, then you can move forward in the preparation of the soup. So we're gonna go and when these are ready, um, we'll come back and we'll finish the soup and it'll be wonderful. Okay, our potatoes are done and I'm gonna show you up against the side here. If you can take a potato, whoops. Wait, it up. <laughs> and do that. That's exactly how you want it. And I have turned my heat down. I'm gonna put my clams in. I didn't chop them or anything. If you want them smaller, go ahead and chop them, no biggie. But I think it's nice to bite into a nice plump clam when you're eating clam chowder. Now you'll notice that this has thickened up considerably. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in, this is a little pint of heavy cream. And this is that Gosner cream which is absolutely fantastic I'm also going to add some milk let's say about two cups smells great, it looks great. I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper. And you didn't have to buy your clam chowder in a can because it's not good to eat things from a can if you can help it. Um, I gotta tell you, the things they're doing to our food is disturbing. I'm gonna grab a little tasting spoon. And I'm gonna taste this for seasoning. I didn't add any salt, you'll notice, because clams are salty because they come from the sea. Mmm. That is very nice. But it does need a bit of salt. Not too much. That's a finishing salt. You can put that on your serving if you like, but you could, I could use that gray salt. It's very tasty. Okay, we're ready to fix you a bowl. Here's a ladle. This is better than any clam chowder you're going to get out of a can. And it didn't take you very much longer to cook this than it did. Because let's face it, good things take time. Get you a spoon. Have a slice of bread and butter. 
and we'll call that dinner tonight with it. You should try this New England clam chowder because it is super simple and super delicious, and I hope you try it, and I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya.